What's up, people? It's your boy, Quarter Porter with Cheese, and I wanted to make a video to kind of give you guys a uh, look into uh, my uh, Switch experience with the launch. I went to uh, three different launch events because I was so hyped for this thing, and I was super duper hyped. I wanted to uh, make sure that I secured a console for the giveaway and a console for myself, and up with an extra one. So we might uh, keep that for the kids here. But um, I wanted to give you guys my experience and opinions on the uh, giveaways. The uh, first uh, experience, the release, the midnight release I went to was um, at a, at a local Walmart. And um, they were very, very, uh, they, they weren't, let's say, it was disorganized. They uh, had people, the line for the giveaway was shifting about um when they actually were getting ready to do that the only thing that they had done right in my opinion they had uh numbers they gave numbers for the available consoles that they had because they did have pre-orders and um the pre-order people didn't have to uh have a number but the uh loose available units that they had because i heard a lot of stuff on youtube that said that there was um no uh pre there was no pre-orders left now always remember that doesn't mean that there's not systems available at all always go check out your store because they usually get extras they always um do with the pre-orders that's the guaranteed sales and then they have loose ones that they sell so i went out and did intel and uh the walmart was the first place i hit i originally went to uh one my one of my pre-order sites and uh because I was told that they were doing a midnight release. I was there, I was waiting, and then a guy came out and said that they weren't doing a midnight release to come back in the morning, which almost put me out of the window for getting one at the wa the local Walmart. But I went ahead and um, waited it out. I didn't have a ticket number when they started giving out the tickets, the ticket numbers for those people that wanted to uh, guarantee them one. So basically, there uh, I was the very last person. I just missed out on getting a ticket, and then uh, one of the uh, guys that got a ticket didn't show, wasn't present when they sold them. So I ended up uh, getting that switch uh, loose. So there was the first experience. The second experience was with my actual pre-order site which uh, I was very upset with them because they had lack of communication between the various employees at, and it was a local Best Buy. So I'm not sure what the the uh, the issue was because one person said uh, come at their normal open time. Another person I talked to said they were doing a midnight release. And then finally like a, a manager came out on the uh, night that it was supposed to be midnight release, he came out like an hour before saying uh, that they weren't uh, doing a midnight release. And uh, basically you can stay out if you want all night or you can go home, you know, you left it up to the uh, people that were there. I bounced so that I could get over to the Walmart and try to get the loose one. And I was able to do that. But the, there, um, when I actually went to pick up my pre-order, they uh, were really nice. They had everything set up in the back. They were very organized. They had accessories out where you could uh, purchase accessories. You could pick them up and bundle them with your pre-order. And I did that. I made that's where I got most of my uh, goodies. At was at the uh, the uh, launch, the uh, the second stop, and then my final stop <coughs> was my uh, fi my uh, final pre-order was at a uh, local GameStop, <coughs> and of course GameStop's been doing pre-orders midnight releases all that for a long time so it was very professional it was done really well i know that gamestop gets a lot of a flack for how they treat their employees which I, I can't i can attest to that i was a gamestop employee way back in the day but um that they they know how to run a um, a release and i didn't get to go to their big release party i went to just a uh i went to the uh like i guess it would be a normal day launch day they op there was uh in the local mall so they didn't open like at midnight but they had a off uh off mall site that's where they did their midnight release but i went to the uh the mall location and it was it was done really professional the guys were of course they're really helpful and they always did their you know 
pre-order you know do you want to pre-order any upcoming games and i'm like no nah, man i got i got i got zelda that's all i need right now that's all i need so um that's basically my opinions on the uh three uh launch day experiences i had so uh thank you guys for watching my little vlog hope you guys got some information and uh something that you can uh, the little bit of the behind the scenes with your boy and uh, i'm gonna get out of here because it's time to eat breakfast so uh catch you guys around i quit <laughs>